Less than four on more implicit differentiation. Potentially, you're doing this with less than three. Because it doesn't look to be a lot in less than three, but actually, when you do the examples, they're quite chunky. Right, let's have a look then. So, uh, I've got, got implicit differentiation when the coordinates where the tangent is parallel to the x axis. Right then, let's have a look at this. Let's differentiate it first. So, I've got two. This is chain rule. So, uh, sorry, product rule. 2xy, so I've differentiated the x squared. Now I'm going to differentiate the y, so it's one lot of dy dx times by the x squared minus 2y dy dx equals 0. If I do a rearrange, if I take those over to the other side, I've got minus 2 minus 2xy. If I imagine that I'm taking the x squared and the 2y out as a factor and then dividing through, they're going to go there. Right then. So I've got an expression for dy by dx. Now it tells me the tangent is parallel to the x-axis. If you think about that, that's a stationary point. So that must mean then that dy by dx is equal to zero. So my minus 2 minus 2xy whoops, over x squared minus 2y is equal to 0. If I take that up, minus 2 minus 2xy is equal to 0. Divide through by 2, take the xy on the other side, I've got 1 is xy. I'm going to know that my plan, <laughs> my plan is to sub this into the original equation up here somewhere. So decide which one you're going to get rid of. Let's get I'm going to get rid of y. So if I use y is 1 over x, I've got 2x plus x squared times by minus 1 over x minus minus 1 over x all squared is 0. Right, let's have a look then. I've got 2x I've got x squared times by minus 1 over x, that's a minus x. I've got a minus 1 over x all squared, so that's 1 over x squared, and then that's a minus, so that's a minus 1 over x squared, is 0. So I've got x minus 1 over x squared is 0. If I take that over there, I've got x is 1 over x squared, I've got x cubed is 1, so x is 1. Right, now then, you think you've done all the work, uh, but I want the coordinates. So I need to sub back in. So you've got a choice. So you're going to sub into to y is one over minus 1 over x, so you're going to sub into that. So it makes sense to sub into y equals minus 1 over 1, so that's minus 1. So my coordinates are 1 comma minus 1. There. <laughs> Quite messy, really. All right, let's have a look at this next one then. <sighs> right, so find the equation of a tangent at the point 4, 2. So remember, plan dy by dx. Find that. Find the gradient. And then use y, y as y1. Right, let's have a go. Differentiate the x squared is a 2x. The 4xy is chain uh, product rule again. So differentiate the first bit. That's with x, so that's fine. Then differentiate the second bit. That goes with a 4x. Then minus 6y dy dx is equal to 0. Take the 2x and the 4y over. So minus 2x minus 4y. Take the 4x and the minus 6y out as a factor and then divide through. So I've got dy by dx is there. If you look, I can divide through by 2 on the top and bottom. So I've got minus x minus 2y over 2x minus 3y. That's x. Right then. I want the equation of the tangent to curve at 4, 2. So if I use 4, 2, 
dy dx is minus 4 minus 2 lots of 2 over 2 lots of 4 minus 3 lots of 2. So dy dx is minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8. I've got 8 minus 6 is 2. So my gradient is minus 4. Then I'm going to use the point P and the gradient is minus 4. So I've got y minus 2 is minus 4, x minus 4. Job done. If it doesn't tell you to rearrange it, leave it as it is. There. Right then. Could this be the last example? God, I hope so. Right, let's have a look then. So given that the tangent to the curve at Q on the curve is parallel to the tangent at P, find the coordinates of Q. Right, so we know. What do we know? So given that the tangent of the curve is parallel to it, right, I knew the gradient was minus 4. So I know then that the gradient at Q is minus 4. Right, so what do I do? Let's put this equal to minus 4. So if dy by dx is equal to minus 4, I've got minus x minus 2y over 2x minus 3y is equal to minus 4. So I've got minus x minus 2y is minus 4 lots of 2x minus 3y. Uh, minus x minus 2y is minus, ooh, hold on, expand then, Oop. is minus 8x add 12y. If I take the 2y over, I've got a 14y. If I take the 8x over, I've got a 7x. So I've got x is 2y. So I've got that, but x is 2y. Now then... Similar idea, if I change the x's into 2y, uh, so I'm going to sub into the equation, right, so I've got 2y squared, so that's going to give me 4y r squared, plus 4 2yy, so what's that, 8y squared, Minus 3y squared is 36. So I've got 9y squared is 36. I've got y squared is 4. I've got y is plus or minus 2. Now I did know that point P is 4, 2. So if point P is 4, 2, that must mean that Q has a y value of minus 2, because I've already got the plus 2 there. Right, where's that equation that linked x and y together? Uh, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone? Oh, there you go, x equals 2y. So if I use that, x is equal to 2 lots of, oh, 2 lots of minus 2. So x is equal to minus 4. So the point q is minus 2, minus 4. And I think that's it. That's got to be done. Well done, everybody.